Hey, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I am kicking off my Taco Fiesta week with a fun card that also features the Give It A Whirl dies. Isn't that fun? This stamp set is my Million Dollar Sales Achiever stamp set. When you uh, sell a million dollars in Stampin' Up! supplies, one of the things that you get to do is design your own stamp set. So here is mine. It's fun, it's silly, and it's perfect for Stampin' Blends. Okay, well, let's get started by doing some of our stamping first. We're going to stamp our taco in memento black on basic white. We're also going to stamp that cute little sombrero. Now, this stamp set has five faces you can choose from. I actually forgot to get my mustache face out, so let's get that out. I'm going to stamp it after I color. So we'll do that in a second. Now I ch have chosen to use so uh, so saffron on all of my tacos. Um, we have a variety of yellows and browns that you could use. So play around with your Stampin' Blends and decide which one you like the best. Now I'm just going to give this taco a full coating of light so saffron. You can use your bullet end or your brush end. I'm going to open the brush end here in a minute when I blend. Then I'm going to take my dark so saffron and I'm going to come down in the corners like that, add a little bit along the bottom and curve up. Now I am going to switch over to that brush end and just kind of blend that up kind of in a smiley face like that. And as it dries, that will smooth out a little bit. Okay, now I am going to take, while I have my dark let's see any of my dark these are so close it's hard to tell i'm gonna color the sombrero on the top right here you know i'm just looking and i noticed my taco doesn't have a sombrero but i think it's so cute that we should <laughs> include it on every project all right i've got sweet sorbet and for these tiny little areas you're definitely going to want to probably well i say definitely but you know maybe you prefer the other end but when i do small things like this, I like to use the bullet end. So take your bullet end, and these tomatoes especially are very small, so just tap that color in. Tap, tap, tap like that. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna take light, granny apple green, add some lettuce. I don't like any lettuce or tomato on my tacos, but for a cute stamped taco, it definitely makes it a lot cuter when you add it. Oh, and let's do the bottom part of the sombrero. Okay. All right. Let's bring over that mustache. And we're going to stamp that right in the middle. Very cute. All right. Now, these guys don't have dies, so you'll need to pull out your paper snips. And paper snips are the best marker to, I mean, the, the best scissors to use when you're fussy cutting. They're small and agile, able to get in all those nooks and crannies. The first thing you want to do is cut off that excess um, cardstock and kind of just give yourself a little bit of cardstock to work with so it doesn't get in your way. And then just slowly go around the outside of the black line, leaving kind of a white border around and around, and I like to stay right in the middle of my scissor blades, and I'm using my opposite hand to turn this taco as I, as I cut it. Okay, so there's that. And then the sombrero, we'll do the same. Let's cut off that excess. These are really, I think, quite easy to cut out. There's not a lot of little nooks and crannies that you have to get into. Just have to go around the edge. And there we go. All right, let's take a many dimensional, and we'll put that sombrero right on our taco. All right, now for our chili peppers, I have already done some of the cutting. Here are the Give It A Whirl dies, and I'm gonna show you, this, this die set can be a little bit intimidating, but it's really easy. I used this one right here, 
to cut out the what I call the base. And then this is the window. We're gonna cut a window in that in a minute. I cut two of these wheels. Here's one. And then the other one, I use the window die to cut out a little window. That's gonna give me like a little template. And I'm gonna line it up. You can kind of see those little segments in there. And I'm gonna put that down. That's gonna help me know exactly where to stamp my pepper right in the middle. So I'm gonna stamp it three times in Memento Black. And you can just get that lined up. And then you can save this little template to use on other projects. I just like how it helps me, you know, gives me a parameter of exactly where I'm gonna put that stamp. All right, we're gonna color these peppers three different colors. I'm gonna start with a uh, sweet sorbet and I'm gonna real careful up here where the stem is. You wanna just tap that color because it's very small. And then I'm just gonna fill that all the way in. Go around very carefully. Whoops, I got a little bit out of the lines there. So I'm trying to hurry. All right now I'm gonna take the dark and I'm gonna add some dark there, just kind of on the bottom. And then you can take your light and just kind of blend that up, okay? So now we'll do a yellow pepper and I will start with my So Saffron Light. I have used this marker so much with coloring so many tacos that it's getting kind of low. I need to order a new set. All right, again. Add in that darker color and blend that up. All right, not last but not least, I had to pick up my marker off the floor. <laughs> it rolled away. Um, we're gonna start with our light granny apple green. Well, this one is running out too. I have colored so many peppers and so many tacos in the last month that my blends have definitely gotten a workout. You could also do an orange pepper if you'd like. Okay, take your dark and just put kind of a color on that. And we'll take this light and blend it all up like that. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark granny apple green and color in those stems. Again, it's a small little section, so just tap, tap, tap that color. Now you can add your faces to the peppers if you'd like. We have five faces to choose from. I didn't get mine out, so I'm just gonna leave it that way. Okay, so now, we're gonna take the teeny tiny chili pepper and sweet sorbet ink, and we'll just stamp this all over, turning the paper, turning the stamp as you go. You don't want your chili peppers to all be uniform. You want them to be a little bit wild and crazy, some off the edge. All right, now bring your Cut an emboss machine over, grab that window die, and there's a little hole right there, and you can match that up. And then get this on here so that it looks nice and straight. Okay? Run that through. And now we have the opening for our, our little wheel. And somewhere on this desk, here we go, I have a brad, one of our tiny, we have a black and white brads. So I've got one of the tiny black ones and I'm gonna poke it first through that hole and then through that hole and then open it. And 
we've got a spinner. All right, bring over your card base. I used a sweet sorbet again, and we're gonna put dimensionals in each of these corners, making sure to stay away from the, the wheel, because if you get a adhesive there, it won't spin. And we'll put that right there. Now I have pulled out some pieces of paper that I thought would go well. This is our T Boutique DSP, see on the back? It's got that kind of that crush curry yellow, and I'm gonna put it at an angle. Then I've got two pieces of glimmer paper, sweet sorbet and parakeet party, which is very similar to our granny apple green. I'm gonna cut the ends and then I'm just gonna kind of lay them on here, kind of overlapping like that. And now we'll grab our little taco and we're gonna put him over here on the left side. You've got several fun sentiments you can use in this set. I've chosen You Spice Up My Life. And we'll put that right there. Memento black right in the middle of that stylish shape stitched banner. And then we're going to do just two more things. Let's slide that up kind of under him like that. Well, I think he needs to go a little bit higher. Let's put that right in the middle and then we'll put him right there. I've got a sweet sorbet bow, twine bow that we'll put right there. All right, one more thing that I think makes this card really fun is to take your Wink of Stella and add some sparkle to your peppers. All right, I hope you guys love my stamp set. It's fun, it's great for any occasion, for any recipient, men, women, children, everybody will love the little taco and peppers and avocados with faces. All week I'll have uh, new projects and uh, hopefully you'll find all of them on YouTube if you come later on in the year and you need some inspiration. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Bye.